With these three included, it's nine in total. It should be enough. You managed to gather what Huishin Hall needs so quickly. No wonder they speak so highly of you. This can't be. We came here to protect the people of Weiwei. Don't you remember what the captain said before our departure? This expedition has nothing to do with the conspiracies or schemes. But that couldn't have prevented conspiracies and schemes from coming to us, could it? This isn't something we have control over, Dan Danielle. These days, these things are cute. What do they? What do they do? They bounce. Why am I bullying these things? You just float. episode, I was correct, and I figured that things were going to be cutting, and well, they are. At least not as bad. He took them all out in a whoosh! Whoa, so strong! <laughs> mushroom meat. <laughs> mushroom meat. Ever since I started eating mushroom meat, my lower back pain left me, and I got some more strength. <laughs> it's like I've grown a few years younger. And mushroom creatures are more delicious than mushroom meat. The bigger the tastier. <laughs> Could it be that Uncle He got so strong from eating mushroom meat? Lumin, since it might grant us more power, why don't we give it a whirl? Oh, please be less creative with your diet. Alright, Paimon gets it. But back on topic, Uncle He should be fine with following us back now, right? Mushroom meat. <laughs> Yummy. Uncle He, let's go back to the camp together. Uh, together? Sure, let's have the mushroom meat together. <laughs> Air dried mushroom meat can be stored for a long, long time. Pylon means we're going back to the camp together. The dam? Oh, what, what, what got damp? Well, what does it matter? I'm fine with it. <laughs> now that I've eaten mushroom meat, damp or dry, I can go anywhere. Uh, well, mean, let's bring Uncle Heat back to see Jin Woo. See, I know that it's mostly supposed to be he he's like people are looking at that guy and he's the Michael Jackson, but I, I'm not giving him the he he. Oh god, I heard my voice cracked in the middle of even trying it. This might be the most unique character I voice. Surprisingly, I've actually not voiced somebody who is batshit crazy yet. I want to. Mushroom me. <laughs> mushroom you on my tummy. Small mushrooms, mushroom creatures, big mushrooms. <laughs> Uncle He? What happened to your face? I knew you were alive. To think that your family even invited me to your funeral. I refused to go, you know? Told them that nothing was certain yet without a body. Look at your face. It must have been tough for you being trapped in the mine like that, but anyway, I'm glad that you're still alive. Being alive is good, yes. <laughs> Living, breathing mushrooms are delicious. <laughs> Uncle He? He was like this when we found him. He was, he wasn't quite all there, and he kept saying that he wanted to eat mushrooms. Mushrooms. The chasm is a dangerous place for ordinary people. The plants and fungi growing here could also be harmful to the human body. That's why Huishin Hall has been so strict, but has set has set strict rules against eating these things. But Uncle He's been trapped down here all these years with nothing else to eat. How am I supposed to face his family with him in this state? Do you know anyone who does research on these mushrooms? Now that you mention it, Kadive might be able to help after all. He's a scholar from Sumeru. He must have con conducted some research on mushrooms. Please wait here, I'll bring him over to check up on Uncle He. Mushroom meat. Mushroom meat. With how messed up Uncle He is, Pyron's already not sure if he can recover. If he goes back to his family like this, they'll be pretty saddened. You can't just kidnap me here while I was halfway through my report, Jin Wu. 
I know you're in charge of the team Sato, but you can't just disturb my research like that. I'm seriously considering cutting your budget as they proposed. Never mind the budget. Please, check on this man here. It's so itchy inside my earsies. <laughs> who, who, who is he? And why does he look like that? Did you find him, Wumin? Seriously, how are you always able to stumble upon such peculiar events? Then, how was he like it? How was he like when you found him? He's fine. It's not a big deal. You know, he always complains about the itchiness in his ears. That's because the spore of the fungi have entered his ears. Although long-term consumption of types of fungus, I mean mushroom, does impair one's sanity. It doesn't hurt the body. So you're saying he can recover? I've already cleared his body of the fungi and made some medicine to treat his neurological disorder. He's very likely to recover if given ample rest. I see. Then, uh, about the cost of the medicine. Now, the ingredients are expensive. They're only worth a month's meals at Zen Zenyu. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out some way to repay you. No need to repay me. As a matter of fact, this instant gives me something new to write in. Ever since I came across these particular mushrooms in the chasm, I've been curious about the long-term consequences of eating them. But I haven't found a willing assistant yet. <sighs> Test subject is more the word, don't you think? You can say that, but we study these mushrooms and come to the conclusions that they won't cause any irreversible damage to the body or the mind. But given how peculiar the chasm is, the environment here could be another reason for his symptoms. Anyway, just let him take the medicine and get some rest. He's very likely to recover even now. What a relief. I'll bring him up to the surface later. Once he's recovered, I'll bring him home and inform his friends as well. He's a veteran miner and an agile one too. He took very good care of youngsters who were new in the mine. When he went missing a few years back, everyone wondered why Rex Wapis didn't protect him. A good man's life shouldn't have ended that way, they said. I'm sure his friends will be much more comforted by the news that he's back. My ears aren't itchy anymore, but... Mushroom meat. Where can I find more? Well, that was a quick quest. Uh, I can't do this one yet, I believe, until I keep doing this, so let's recharge at this, and then get going here. As soon as I have more exploration to do, I might go play some Outlast, because, I don't know, I might, depending on actually if Winston will get on tonight. You know, I tried to replay Emily Wants to Play, uh, but I stopped again because I just can't handle it. Yet the darkness did not overcome it. Wait, I thought there was a thing here. What? I guess I was wrong. Oh, he probably has it anyway. God, it's gonna be the pain in the ass looking for the rest of the wooden spear stuff. Uh, okay, so it's here somewhere. What the? What are you doing? How? What? I didn't press that. It should be right here. Shouldn't it? Wait, what did I clear this for? No way. Right. Uh, uh, I want to teleport. Did I really not need to explore this area yet? Hmm? Did I not? Oh, my lord. I thought that one was under something, but it's not. It's all the way up there. Keep it yourself steady. Don't freak out. Keep steady. Now climb on. This is easy. There we go. Man, what's your problem? A 
have you got the COVID? Oh, I don't, I don't know why I joked about that. That's not funny. He can actually get that. Clear the area. Clear it. No. What was I? W Why? I got careless. Did you? Fry. Ow! 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 No, wait! Wait! You know what? upgrade this thing. <laughs> I really thought I had to, though. Is this okay. an answer from this world? Well, I guess if I think about it, the exploration wasn't all too bad. As I kind of was able to find more quests and stuff, and it also made me kind of stop doing this part and go do other quests. Dog, if you're really gonna be like that, then don't ask to go out. We found the cannonballs! They're in perfect shape! How do the fuses look? Ah, uh, great. They can't be used anymore. How'd that happen? The fuses in here have all been designed such that they are activated by a catalyst. Cataclysm. Cata like a cataclysm reaction with Geo. Something like that, you know? But the anomalies down here in the mines must have affected them. The Geo cataclysm elements from the within the fuses have all turned into this strange and inert blue crystal. So they're all useless. Well, that's not good. We're in prepared for such strange going ons. Well, there were definitely some words in there that Paimon didn't get at all. So what happens to the cannonballs without the fuses? Uh, that's not a very bright question. Eh? What was that again? Paimon couldn't hear you. Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying that without the fuses, none of these cannonballs would explode, even if you kicked them around like a ball. Because, uh, well, the fuse is what makes the explosives material explode, you know? The fuse reacts with Geo, and then with the contents of the cannonball and then... And then boom, right? Yes, boom. But without their fuses, these cannonballs won't go boom at all. This is going to be tough. Aren't geo reactions themselves inert? Aye, that's basic alchemic knowledge. That is, however, the potential energy within elements can be quite hard to estimate. For example, if you were to pressurize geo elemental particles such that they would be densely packed inside a small vessel, an elemental reaction would generate sufficient explosive force all the same. Huh, that reminds Paimon of a curious ability you used by people with geovisions. Then where do they hide all the geo elements they use? The principles work differently for elemental users. That's a completely separate matter to how the miners of Weiwei make ad hoc fuses. You know, how does a treasure hoarder from Mondstadt like you know all this stuff better than people from Weiwei? <laughs> Wanna guess? Gah, can we hit this guy already? Come now, Paimon. Sit, sit. Hey, Paimon's not your dog or something. <clears throat> well, if you trust me, I can make a simple fuse here at the crafting bench. You know what? It's not that we don't trust you, but you are a treasure hoarder, and you're not a miner either. Who's to say you won't blow us all sky high? And even if Paimon does trust you, it's not like we'll mean would. <laughs> well, the job's all yours. Eh? Didn't she say... Alright, alright, stop explaining already. What's Paimon going to do about you? Well, keep an eye on him, Paimon. Relax. If you ask Paimon, this is how the bad guys in stories would want it to go. But since you say so, Paimon will listen to what he has to say. Alright, Opo, go ahead. It's not that hard, actually. It's just that there is some mistake, 
Some men at risk involved, in case you're worried. We just need to get one vial of unmoving essential oil with double the usual density. Isn't that some kind of potion? Exactly. As I said earlier, a double density potion can serve to cataclyze the elemental explosion. I use this principle to collapse some tunnels during my time with the treasure- oh, Sorry, never mind that I said that. It's fine, we don't really care about your hoarder days. If I might ask, how minute is this risk? Well, if an accidental explosion occurs, which it might, considering the unstable nature of cons concentrated essential oils, the explosion shouldn't be able to drastically alter any geological formations. Oh, that's a pretty small explosion, then. That's fine, Paimon's not too worried. That said, any organic matter within the explosion radius might experience disintegration, breakage, leakage, separation, and... Yeah, no need for the jargon, I get it. Paimon didn't get it, but it sure sounds scary. Godiva set up a crafting bench back at camp. We can use... We can first... Uh, we can first attempt to follow the formula to make the essential oils here. If you don't have enough materials on hand, you can find some other way to get the essential oil we need. And we can continue from there. Please keep the formula with you, just follow it and we'll be fine. In any case, please be careful when walking around with said oil. Shake it too much or drop it accidentally, and there might be an explosive accident. Alright, alright, stop trying to scare us already. I better have the materials for this. Essential oil. Yeah, I can make three of these. What the hell is- wait. What's that? Oh, the chest? Is that the chest one? It's been so long since I've been in here. How'd it go? Did you finish making the unmoving essential oil? We got it, and we took good care of it too. Here it is. Alright, that's it. Don't shake it. Steady now. Alright, looks like this will do. Now we just need to insert the fuses into the cannonball. Okay, that should do it. Be careful now. Don't bump that thing around everywhere, or we things might get lively in here. I'm back with a new map. Go on, have a look. Thanks for your trouble. Nice! I was nothing. I'm just glad I would be able to help. How are things on your end? Did you find the cannonballs? Hey, careful. This one's got a fuse in it already. If you move it around too much, we're all gonna be done for. Hey, 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 when did you start putting on airs? If you were the one holding the bomb, you'd sound pretty brave too, I bet. Is that a threat? Have you stopped hiding your true treasure hoarder colors already? Well, gonna blow us up now? Come on, I've said this before. Bombs are indiscriminate. You go on like this, and I don't think it'll be whether I want to blow you up or not. <laughs> it's not like I can read your mind or something. Who knows who's what thoughts you're having in that mind of yours? You treasure hoarders are all the same. Criminal minds with criminal mindsets. And now you even got the bomb with you? Great, huh? And what of that? If it was in your hands, you'd have blown us up 30 times by now. What are you two children? <sighs> Cut it out already. Sorry, I just don't trust the treasure hoarder. Yeah, that works for me. I can barely respect someone who either jumps at every shadow she sees. Are you two even listening? Okay, okay. <sighs> Alright, go ahead. So I'm not asking you two to trust each other or anything. I know, but he... May I have a word? That's true. She wasn't messing around to... She wasn't... <clears throat> That's true. She wasn't around to see us work on the bomb after all. You shut it as well. But if you don't work together, we're going to get nowhere fast. <sighs> Just don't make me regret joining the exploration team. Thanks. Wow, Lamin actually got mad. Let's just drop that argument already, okay? The two of you already put up walls before you can even talk. That's no way to properly communicate. Since we're all here on the same exploration team, let's just talk nicely, okay? Just this once? Regardless, I'm going to operate the Mountaineer. Anyone coming with me? I'll go with you. I'll stay in the camp then, huh? Don't get me wrong, I'd love to help, but I think Jinwoo needs my help more. 
I've also got to thank her for taking me in, you know. It's fine, I... Since Umina said so, I'll trust you, but... Not that I didn't before... Uh... Alright, alright, let's head off before you two start arguing again. Honestly, this side quest is going pretty good. Oh man, not like something I've already seen. Are we going to... We're gonna go fight the boss, aren't we? No, get off the crafting bench. I can't talk to him? Oh. Then we get to talk to him. So that is all the way over there. I'm obviously, like, missing some sort of secret passage here to continue exploring the rest of the way, so please, like, show it to me. Low lamp post, high frequency flicker, middle lamp post, low frequency flicker, high lamp post, low frequency flicker. Wait, what does that even mean? Hold on, what's that first one? High frequency. Okay. One, one on the ground, high, and yeah. Uh, low, high, high. Wait, no, high, high, low, high, high, low. to be put on well. I would have accidentally done this myself at one point. So I don't think I just ever touched the last one. Uh-oh, where is the last one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where was it? Where was it? Uh-oh. 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 I don't know where it is. I mean, it's supposed to be ground level, but still. I don't know where it is. Hi, hi, whoa. Ah, don't make me waste my time. Did I... Did I dodge that or not? I wasn't very looking anyway. I need to go back up. I'm gonna go back up. High, high, low. Wait. No, it's a low, low, high. Look, I'm just looking for the last one. That's what matters right now, is finding the last one. Oh, that's where it is. <sighs> It's still doing its thing. So good. Man, I tell ya. <sighs> Don't like it when... What happened to you? One frequency. Well, that can't be right. Let's touch the last one and see what happens. This one, actually, I need to use the thingy on. This one needs to be high. Yeah, that's... Did I just turn it off? Oh, oh, I, I don't understand. Hold on. Oh, I don't understand. What's going on? I'm afraid I'm not getting it here.
Yeah, that's definitely in a high frequency. No, I, I know what it means. That's high frequency. What? Can you... Okay, that's now low. So it's this one over here that I'm having trouble with. See, what I'm thinking the frequency is... Okay. Okay, I just got a little confused. I thought I was turning it off and on. <laughs> but no, it's just low frequency is like actually kind of slow. Which it's supposed to be, but you get what I mean. God, my PlayStation fan is going off. You can't just shut the hell up. We should be able to load the cannonball now. Be careful, the fuse has already been mounted. If we had known that we had to do this, we should have just mounted the fuse here and loaded the cannon all at once. That's all under the water... Uh, that's all water under the bridge by an Alpimon. Give me a hand over here, please. I hope you can't hear my PS4 fan still going off, because that's why I have it blocked. It's so you don't hear it. Imagine that was just an instant failure. Aim down. Aim down. There. Look! We've done it! Awesome! Bullseye! Awesome. Looks like that Obo does know what he's talking about after all. Guess we blamed him unjustly. You mean you blamed him unjustly. Go apologize once you have the time. <laughs> yeah, you were right. I was too hasty. High mind wonders what's up ahead. Ooh, it's scary, but it's also exciting. Shall we continue onward? Yes, let's go. Maintain safety distance. Like seriously, if you hear my PS4 going off, the fan going off while I have it covered, that's just not good. It's the fans. Sometimes the fan is like really loud and then it's quiet and then it's really loud again. I need to get it cleaned very much, so. I'll keep this close. Huh. Yeah. Oh crap, I didn't do it right. Great! Follow him. Because where else do I go? <coughs> yeah. Answer from this world? Stone only started uh, springing up like mushrooms within the chasm after the miners discovered this thing. This is definitely no coincidence. From the way it floats in its damaged state, it really does look like the fragments that I uh, Iris said exist on Dragonspine. And yeah, I'm talking about those floating fragments that you found earlier. Who knows, they might actually be, what are, you know, attached to that thing. Perhaps some nameless ancient civilization sweeps under our feet, just like the ancient catacombs on Dragonspine. What do you think? We'll only know if we go deeper in. The changes to the geological structure of the chasm have been exhilarating. The black substance that you were 
you see covering the rocks only started showing up everywhere recently. I can't be sure, but I think that these things are all related. The mud, the flowing light, this fo floating crystal fragment. Why would you think that? Well, that's because they all make me feel sort of... queasy? It's like getting carsick on a carriage, or like losing your sense of direction on a ship in a storm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How the hell do you get car sick in a world without cars? Uh, really? Paimon feels alright. Are you unwell? If you don't feel so good, we can return to the camp. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. I've had my fair share of bouts of vertigo or seasickness. I'll be okay. Don't put yourself more than you should, alright? Mm-hmm, thanks. Ah, yes, have you noticed? There are three strange devices around the crystal thing. We should probably investigate them. What do you think? I think that's a yes. And I'm going to not try exploring this place and grabbing too many things. That one kind of just got in my way. 